In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Purple Panda mic and compare the audio quality versus the Rode Video Micro. The Rode Video Micro is one of my favorite microphones. I use it all the time on many of my YouTube videos. It's only $60 versus the Purple Panda mic, which comes with a kit that's about $30. I'll leave links to them in the description below. I'm just gonna kinda of blab while using the actual mics to tell you some of the strengths and weaknesses of these two mics and maybe help you decide which one you should get. Let's get into it. The Purple Panda microphone is a lav mic that clips onto your shirt and gives you audio that's really close to your mouth. It's really sensitive. I actually had to turn the sensitivity down on my camera to minus 6 dB. It gives you a really hot signal. What you're hearing right now is the Purple Panda lav mic. What do you think of the quality? Let's do a little room noise test. You might be able to hear there's like birds chirping. Let's switch over to the Rode Video Micro in three, two, one. And now I'm using the Rode Video Micro. It's attached to my camera. I'm sitting about maybe, I don't know, two and a half feet away from the lens and from the microphone right now. How does this sound? How do you think it sounds compared to the Purple Panda mic? Let me know in the comments. The Rode Video Micro is a directional mic, so it's it's looking right at me. It's shooting towards my mouth. That did not come out sounding well. The Rode Video Micro is one of my favorite microphones, but it tends to pick up a lot of room noise. And just like the room echo, it's gonna pick up a lot of that stuff because it's picking up stuff that's kind of around me. And when I talk, my voice is bouncing behind me and all over these walls. And I'm in my studio right now, which has no sound foam or nothing fancy in it. This is a pretty raw test of the audio quality between the Rode Video Micro and the Purple Panda. Let's do a little noise test. Rode Video Micro is very sensitive, but it also usually does a pretty good job at minimizing the kind of hiss that you hear in a lot of recordings. So the Rode Video Micro is one of my favorite mics and it only is $60, so it's a really good deal. It's twice the amount of money as the Purple Panda, but it's still an amazing microphone. So that's enough of the Rode Video Micro for now. Let's go back to the Purple Panda mic and see how it compares. Three, two, one. And now we're back to using the Purple Panda lav mic. It's right here under my cute little chin. The Purple Panda mic is set to minus six dB because like I said earlier, it has a really hot signal. It's very loud. But let's take this show on the road. Let's go outside and do a vlogging-ish kind of test with both of these microphones and see how they handle the outside noise with, you know, birds and trees talking and trees talking. All right, so now I am outside. This is an outside test using the Purple Panda mic. I have the mic gain set to minus six dB like I was shooting in my studio. But how does it sound? Let's do a little noise test. I'm always so paranoid. My neighbors are staring at me when I'm doing these kind of shots. Damn it. There's freaking mosquitoes everywhere. But how does this sound? Let's switch over to the Rode Video Micro. All right, so now I am back to using the Rode Video Micro and hopefully the sound is better. It's obviously more directional, but um, one of the disadvantages of a directional microphone is if I turn around and do this kind of thing or, you know, step away a little bit, talk, you know, look up and talk about birds or second, all of a sudden, damn it, there's a mosquito on my hand. All of a sudden, the audio is gonna drop out a little bit because the best audio from a directional mic is when you're looking right at it, when your voice is going right into the mic. The advantage of having a directional microphone is anybody that comes up from behind me, they don't need a mic. Anything that's happening behind the lens, they're not gonna need a mic you know, attached to their face or something like that because the directional mic is already getting all the audio from around you versus using something like a lapel mic or a lav mic this is obviously getting just your own voice, so if you wanted anyone else's voice to be in the shot, you'd have to give them a mic to give them the nice clear signal into your camera. So yeah, both of these microphones have their strengths and their weaknesses, and I'm getting bit up, so let's go back to the damn video. But yeah, what do you think of the audio quality between the Purple Panda versus the Rode Video Micro? I tend to actually prefer the Rode Video Micro in general, even though it's gonna pick up more of the room noise. It seems to have a kind of more accurate range in terms of how my voice actually sounds, but 
there is the problem of when I'm like, you know, two and a half feet away from the camera, it's gonna pick up a lot of the reverberations of the room, especially if in a room that's not treated very well for sound, like the one I'm in right now. If I'm worried about, you know, getting really far away from the camera, I'm definitely gonna want something that has more of the, you know, mic right under the chin kind of vibe. You know, some kind of lav mic is ideal. Especially, you know, if I turn over here and I start talking over here versus when I talk over here, it's gonna sound the same no matter what I do because the mic is right under my face. So yeah, this isn't a super scientific test. This is more a audio quality comparison between the Purple Panda lav mic and the Rode Video Micro. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think the Purple Panda slayed the Video Micro or if you think the Video Micro is the cutest puffball of all time. My, in microphone land. Smash the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, you know what to do. Add me on social media at B3NAQUA. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.